friends, welcome back to Vince and Gigi's Super Channel G. And look how incredible these Spider-Man No Way Home action figures look. Well, they're not all from No Way Home. There's a few other ones, and especially this Miles Morales Game Reverse one. But these action figures look incredible. Here's a glimpse of what Armadillo looks like, which is actually pretty cool. And then some other action figures that are in this set to round out the entire set. But you're not going to want to miss this. Look how awesome it looks. We brought a couple of our ac uh, action figure, uh, dynamic action figure stands. Um, however, didn't find them all. Otherwise, I would use more. But this was a lot of fun to do. Look at Jameson yelling at Spider-Man here. So you're not going to want to miss this. And I also want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for getting us to 200,000 subscribers now. At the time I'm making this video, it actually isn't there yet. But by the time this posts, hours and hours and hours from now, it should be 200,000 subscribers, and that's because of you. I want to thank you so much, and we'll find a way to celebrate. Let me know what you think. How do you want us to celebrate? Do you want us to make certain videos or something else? Let us know. And so, guys, without any further ado, uh, we're going to want to get started. But if you have not already subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you're notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know what you think of these Marvel Legends action figures. And give us a big thumbs up if you like this video. So guys, what do you say? We go ahead and get started. Right now. What is up, Vincent Gigi? Vincent Gigi, Super Channel G. Super Channel G. G. Vincent Gigi from Super Channel G. Super Channel G. Vincent Gigi on Super Channel G. So tight. Don't stop doing what you're doing. Congratulations on all your success. Congratulations on everything. I will see you on the TV. Uh. Super Is this great? All right, friends, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G, and I'm so excited to finally get my hands on this Marvel's Armadillo Build-A-Figure set because this is the same one that has these Spider-Man No Way Home first wave action figures. I'm hoping it's a first wave and not just the only wave, but here we are. Let's take a look, and I was afraid I wasn't going to find these, and then it turned out they were there were several around the Walmarts, but um, first... We have the Spider-Man No Way Home integration suit. We have Spider-Man black and gold suit. We have Doctor Strange. We have J. Jonah Jameson. We have Miles Morales in the video game. We have Morlin. And we have Marvel Shriek. So I can't wait to dive right on in. And then also, this should be the video that we make where we hit 200,000 subscribers. So at this moment, we're not there. But hopefully in a few hours we'll get there. I want to thank you so much. We need to find a way to celebrate. But there's no... Oops, my chair squeaked. <laughs> no better way than to get started with a video like this for the one that's going to break the 200,000 subscriber mark. So guys, let's go ahead and get started. Let's dive right on in. And I can't wait to take a look at these action figures right here from Spider-Man No Way Home. What do you say? Let's get started. All right, friends, so let's go ahead and get started with our very first action figure in this set. And this is, of course, the Spider-Man No Way Home Iron Spider integration suit. And look how awesome this looks. Does not look absolutely great. And so, hmm, maybe I have the Iron Spider suit one still here so we can compare. And we'll take a look at that in just a moment. Look at this beautiful packaging. Look at that Iron Spider suit right there. Doesn't that look super cool? And I was like, wait, what's that dot on his head? Interesting, because I was like, is that an accident? No. And maybe it's right here several times. It's just shining right there. I was like, is that a... Yeah. Okay. Anyway, look back here. This is an awesome pose right here. And then, of course, this is a variation from the Iron Spider suit that we know and love already. With some of the blue and the red kind of reversed and the gold. But... Look at everybody who's in the set. Look how cool it's going to look. And then again, what an interesting uh, digital version instead of the actual action figures. It looks like the rendering of what um, they're planning it to look like when they release that early. But um, yeah, 
So there's Marvel's Armadillo, and of course, here's the action figures that go with this. Here's the leadoff character, the one, because there are six, well, there's seven in this set. And then when the box of Marvel Legends comes with eight, there's two of him, and then everybody else has one in there. But then there's the corresponding Build-A-Figure piece that goes with this, and of course, this has no Build-A-Figure piece. So, let's see what the back says. And the back says, Spider-Man. Spider-Man gears up in his integrated suit to bravely confront a new threat. All right, look at that. You know what, let me see if I can find that Iron Spider real quick so we can compare that also. Okay, and I was like, uh-oh, what if I can't even find it? Oops, sorry about that. Um, before I put my foot in my mouth. But I did, and look at this. So if you'll notice, right there, what we have as gold and blue, right there on the spider symbol, looks like those have been reversed. So that's the first thing that kind of stands out right there. But um, yeah, these action figures are very similar. They're not exactly the same, but it's pretty cool because I just realized this is an unopened box. Oops. All right, so just kind of comparing that right there. Looks pretty cool. And this one looks a whole lot glossier than this one looks. Because if you'll notice, look, it does have texture right there. Where it looks like this one doesn't. It's more smooth. So it would have been cool if it looked like that. Because that's what it looked like in the movie. But nonetheless, this is a cool figure. So one last time. This one's definitely brighter also. Okay, let's go ahead and get them on out. And take a closer look. Get this bad boy open. All right, here we go. Look at that. This spider symbol looks pretty cool. And we do have some web shooting hands right there that we can swap out. So that's pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and bust them on out. And we're probably going to want to swi uh, switch those hands. But uh, let's get even closer. And then we'll take a look at switching those. But look how cool this looks. Definitely there's a little bit of texture there. Look at that. Looks awesome. Let's see how much we can move the head. Oh, it's got one of those where it's a stick in the middle. Interesting. Okay, so we can move it this far down. And this far back, which is a decent amount. Okay, we can tilt and pivot because it's on the joint. Let's see if we can see it. We go so it's one of these interesting all right let's pop that back on there we do have a butterfly joint so that's awesome and let's see how much we can actually move the shoulders up oop well be careful because look it's already like it's not loose but it's not a strong joint there in the shoulder the shoulder attached to the to the body is really strong here it's not so strong it's weaker so you definitely want to push in and support that as you move it up see Okay, so um, it moves up what appears to be not even in a 90 degree angle. That's okay because we also can move this butterfly joint, move the arm, not only all the way out here, but it gives us a little extra mo mobility right there. Look at that. So that's awesome. And then it spins pretty well. It doesn't really click, but it does kind of... Uh, almost kind of stops in spots but uh it moves pretty well uh moves in the high part of the bicep now his tricep is pretty big so it pushes his arm away from his body look at that just so you know we do have double joints at the elbows and they came in pretty smooth so i will, I will say that look at that let's see we've got a mirror image here look at that boxing champ okay look at that I'm really digging this color scheme. Looks like they did a great job there. So we have a little bit of paint that's not exactly the cleanest right there. Look at that fist. It's a little smudging right there. Or maybe just spray painted unevenly. All right, look at the back. This Iron Spider so it's missing some paint there. But overall looks pretty good. Some paint on and off right there. And cool look is actually, uh, I guess maybe the paint coming off a little bit as it goes in. I don't know. So then the shoulder should be able to, to come in a little bit too. But since it's angled right there, if you'll notice, 
you have to bring the, the bicep in like that, otherwise the tricep hits down here. So, you can probably bring that in about that much, so that's pretty cool. Look at that. That looks awesome. Okay. Look, uh, interesting. I think that's just uh, accidental plastic. It's kind of just caving in there. Let's see if we can move here at the waist. We can ab crunch like times a thousand. Look at that. So that looks pretty awesome. Great for articulation and mobility. All right, let's see the legs. They do come up to a 90 degree angle. So that is outstanding. Because we definitely need that. Let's see, and they go out almost all the way. So this action figure's got great mobility. The legs go beyond just straight up and down backwards. So that's good. Let's see. We've got double joints of the knees that move the legs in really well. We can definitely get some decent articulation. Look at that. So I'm excited about that. And we can perhaps bring the, his web shooting hands. So that's cool. Look at that. All right. And then let's see for ankle. We can actually point and flex pretty well. Look at that. The only thing that would be missing would be if there was a joint right here, like in the Toy Biz era, but Hasbro Marvel Legends doesn't really do that unless they're big figures. And I'm so glad it doesn't have that shin joint right here, which I've never cared for because it moves the leg unnaturally. Okay, so let's stand this bad boy up again. Look at this uh, mold. Looks pretty good. Now it appears that this suit overall, the paint and the and the mold, the detail look overall pretty well. Look at that. So I'm uh, definitely digging the way that looks. Look at these hands right here. Web shooting hands. We definitely need one of them. Maybe let's put both of them. There we go. So just pull and twist. And I'm like, okay, good. I'm like, I'm glad this is a mold right here. Part of the mold. And we'll put this on right here. And great, I put it on the wrong arm. There we are. Should have double checked before I tossed it on, which I usually don't need to, but whatever happened there. Okay, cool. And so, hey, this one does move and come off. Maybe they both do. Okay, cool. So, they move back and forth right here. The wrist, they have a little joint. They do spin. We just found out these actually do come off. This joint goes back and forth. These fingers are pretty soft. Look at that. So, look at that. Looks pretty awesome. The only thing is it looks like I can't move the arm. 100% straight in, look at this, I'm sorry, out. So, either way, it's, that should look pretty outstanding. How's that? So that's awesome. Okay, great. Let's put these away. Put these back in the little case. I'm gonna replace them where the other hands were. And just put, oops, and just put the tape right over those bad boys. So it looks like that. And stand them back up. Maybe I'll even use an action uh, figure stand, dynamic action figure stand, so that we can maybe have them jumping instead. But um, let's see. Let's just see what it looks like here. Getting him like this anyway and coming closer. So right away that looks cool to begin with. Look at that. Taking the way that looks. Oh! Knocked him over. Okay, I mean they're gonna have to strengthen his stance where his feet are. Get him some better balance here or get an action hero stand. 
but let's try that first. So I don't knock them over again. So very cool. We'll probably even move that arm out a little bit more and get that set up even better in a little bit. So, oh, I just realized part of it has to do with that, but that's quite all right. Okay, let's go ahead and move on. Oh my gosh, I'll set him up right here. He's not gonna fall anymore. And move on to our next Spider-Man action figure. Again, this is what the other one looked like from Infinity War. Now this is what the integration suit looks like. Okay, let's go ahead and move on. That one looked pretty cool to begin with. Okay, so here we go. Got one of these bases that I'm kind of digging. And I had to use the base because um, interesting turn of events. I found one of my stands and it's missing the actual clamp. Now I did find the heavy duty Hasbro one, but we'll use that one for our next Spider-Man because I was already digging this pose to begin with. I just altered his, uh, the way his arms were just a, a bit, and I think that looks pretty unreal to begin with. Look at that. Let's see if I can get this in focus. Sorry about that. So, digging that. All right, cool. Very cool. Okay, so that looks awesome. And here we are. Let's move on to our Spider-Man No Way Home black and gold suit. And of course, you're watching this video. I'm recording it months before this movie comes out. So I have no idea what'll be different about this integration suit right here. I have no idea what's gonna be going on right here. We're all speculating that this is gonna to have to do something with Doctor Strange, this black and gold suit. But we don't know, do we? So, super interested in what's gonna happen and can't wait to revisit this once we've seen the movie and I'm sure we're gonna love it, especially if it has our Spider-Verse figures, I'm sorry, uh, characters, again, especially if it has like Toby and um, Andrew, I'm gonna lose it. If we see Venom, because we already know we're gonna see um, what appears to be Vulture and uh, Dr. Octopus and Electro and so on, but um, yeah. So I'm excited about that. Before I get carried away, let's come back to our action figure. Again, look who's in the set. Number one, it has this left leg of Armadillo. And yeah, look how cool that looks. Look at that armor. Okay, let's see what it says about this black and gold suit Spider-Man. It says, Spider-Man. Spider-Man relies on his black and gold suit and abilities to defend against threats. Okay, well, it's not too different from the last one. And, yep, let's get him open. And let's see just how awesome this looks. Look at this artwork right here. That looks cool. And then if we zoom in, it definitely looks a whole lot more techy than it does at first glance. Isn't that, look at that. So, cool. I'm like, wow. Okay, let's get him out. going on here we have that same really cool uh, spider emblem right there got something back here it's like what is this tape interesting let's get our armadillo leg out looks like he's gonna be pretty tall because look how high this comes up to is like his midsection right here torso so we'll set that aside look at those talons <laughs> are just really long uh, toenails it's claws, so not talons, but really long nails there on his feet. And then look, I really like how this one's kind of like almost semi-glossy with that really, look, it, if you come closer, look how awesome that looks. So those beautiful little details are what I love about this one. And so I'm like, is it the same right here? Kind of, didn't execute very well. Cause it looks like it's just has like remnants of baby oil or something but this does 
the suit over here does on other parts of the body. Now it looks like we're missing a little bit of paint there, but overall this action figure looks pretty outstanding. Look at that. Got circuitry and stuff going on there. This looks like it might be uh, a very similar mold, not the exact same mold as the one we just looked at, but uh, a variation of it. So let's see what sort of articulation we have. Wow, these arms do come out to a 90 degree angle. The head, let's see, do we have that? Nope, we have a more traditional neck. Look at that. And his head actually goes back and forward further because just so you know, I'm gonna pop the head off. You see we have this, which moves like that. Look how far back and forth that goes. So this is a different body for sure than our other, uh, the integration suit, that. Now we can't tilt the head to the side as much, but we can definitely turn it and move it back and forth a lot. So that's awesome, look at that. So that's great. Let's see if we can move the arms around really smooth. They come down pretty well. Um, the biceps are still, I'm sorry, the triceps are still big, but not so huge that they move the body away, uh, away from the body as much. Let's see. But it still does. We have our butterfly joint that allows our arms to come back like that and forward like this. Let's see. Let's see how much forward. There we go. So maybe not a ton, but we can definitely move it in pretty well. Look at that. We'll have to cross our arms. Look at that. So that's cool. Let's see. As far as our elbows, we have double joints that bring the arms pretty well in that the wrists back and forth and around okay what about this ab crunch we definitely have a good little epic ab crunch there turns at the waist look at this uh, all this high-tech circuitry right here the legs do come up to what appears to be a 90 degree angle or almost almost a 90 degree angle there move to the high part of the thigh there you go. The legs do move out pretty well and back slightly. The double joints of the knees that looks like it holds pretty well for great articulation. I'm glad we don't have a joint right here at the shin. Again, I'm glad that we don't have that. And then points and flexes pretty well here and pivots at the ankle. So that's nice. And yep. So look, his hands are open. I don't know what he's supposed to be holding here. It looks like we made it, they made it like that for a reason. Oh, we have a little bit of plastic still holding on there, but um, looks like he's supposed to be holding something at an angle. So I wonder what that's supposed to be. Interesting, right? So don't know, but we can swap out these hands and also have him get ready for web shooting. But, um, I wish I knew what was going on here, and I'm sure it's not a mistake, but anyway, let's swap these hands out with these. Ah, that did land right on the floor. And let's pop this right on here. There we go. Kind of interesting how there's red and black here, but all the rest of the body is gold and black. So I'm assuming that's how it's supposed to be in the movie. But again, the movie hasn't come out yet. So whatever we see in the previews could be misleading or uh, unfinished. Well, which would still make it misleading, but um, sometimes that misdirection is on purpose and sometimes it's just unfinished. So. Let's get a good little pose going right here for our Spider-Man, the black and gold suit. Now these hands, just like our other action figure, the integration suit go around and back and forth, but this is opposite color, if you'll notice over here. Get his hand fingers, oops. Opposite, okay. So, how do we want the Spider-Man to be standing or jumping? Let's figure that part out. Let me see. 
Let's take a look at the box again to see what's going on. Well, it's kind of cool. I mean, he's swinging like this, but look, that's a different color hand all together like we were talking about. So is this inaccurate? Is this from early drawing and artwork? One or the other? I guess we'll find out. So uh, do we want him jumping? This would be, that would be kind of a cool uh, uh, setup right there. Let's see if we can do that with this one. Let's try. Okay, so something very similar. Look at that. And I actually kind of like this a little bit better. So this looks cool. It looks awesome. So I got it to where I actually kind of like him jumping out like that just a little bit more. So let's see if we can get our, our action uh, figure stand to hold him like this. And just so you know, I'm sure you're going to ask me, this is a stand that came with the Black Widow. Um, that was like that Target exclusive a while back. So, I'll set this up like this. And instead of having this smack dab in the middle, let's go ahead and put it here in the back corner. And can we rotate this up a little bit? Yeah, we can. Look at that. What are your thoughts on that? So, check this out. Look how awesome that is. I can definitely probably swap his hand out for making a fist, and we could probably even do that with him instead. But nonetheless, look how awesome that looks. Jumping through the air. So, we'll take some pictures in a little bit, but that looks great, and maybe I'll actually have him Higher than that. Let's just move this up. Look at that. Even cooler. Maybe we get Spider Man like that. How's that? Maybe I have him too high now. But look at that. Okay, let me adjust that height. And we can have this. Doesn't that look awesome? Look at that. That actually looks sick. So, anyway, all right. <laughs> Before I get too obsessed with the way those two look, um, let's go ahead and move on to our next action figure in this set. And that next action figure is, dun -dun -dun -dun, Doctor Strange from Spider-Man No Way Home. And we've been speculating about this Eye of Agamotto, but again, we'll be finding out what exactly is going on with that when this movie comes out. And it's been kind of fun to just speculate, is this really Doctor Strange, especially because in the preview, he's been acting so weird. And um, yeah, it may or may not be. And then if you're watching this after the movie came out, or the movie came out a long time ago, based on when you're watching this video, um, obviously you'll already know and you'll be like mm, that wasn't how it happened but anyway I'm so excited for this movie and this Doctor Strange action figure is going to come with the head of Armadillo look at that cool it looked like oh no okay well perfect let's go ahead and see what it says right here for Doctor Strange possessing vast magical knowledge and skills to call upon Earth's master of the mystic arts steps onto the battlefield. Yeah, that looks pretty outstanding. Here we go. Let's get him out. And I wonder how close he's going to be to, like, for example, our Infinity War, Doctor Strange. The one that came with the, the three pack with uh, Iron Man and, um, and Thanos. So. Ooh, look at this cloak of levitation. And so, accurate cloak of levitation, it goes up and then comes down here, because that's what it looks like in the movie. Look at that. So, it's not incorrect, that's exactly how it's supposed to be. Okay. 
So, let's take off this armadillo head. We'll take a closer look at it in a little bit. Look at that. Set that aside. Let's get our Doctor Strange out. And look, the eye of Agamotto is... You just slide it over his neck. And then what do you think? You like these hands open? You want these um, hands that are casting right here? Spell casting? Or do you want these that are like appearing to hold something? But open hands, holding hands, and then um, spell casting hands. But let's get closer. Let's take a look at him first. We look at all those accessories. And let's see what his head sculpt looks like. Head sculpt looks pretty, pretty good. A little bit of paint missing. Look at that. And then a paint. What is a stippling? Just dots. So it's a little off center here. And we're missing some dots. But um, overall, looks all right. We have a little bit of dot shading for the gray hair on the sides. And we have his hair coming down right there. So that overall looks pretty good. Let's see how far we can move the head back and forward. Not too far, and looks like we do have that little joint that has a stick on it. So it allows us to pivot the head pretty well from the base, but it just doesn't create amazing articulation. Let's see, move the arms all the way around. Let's see how far up they go. They go out slightly beyond 90 degree angle. It turns right here, um, right below the shoulder where that would be above the bicep. What about double joints at the elbow? Does that double joints? You can bring it in more than a 45 degree angle, it would appear. So that's cool. These hands, they do bend at the wrist and then spin. So that's good. All right. Look at this um, uh, detail on his mold. That looks cool. Here we are. Let's see, does he turn at the waist? He turns from somewhere that I can't see. Oh, there we go. It's got a joint there, so it kind of crunches and moves in the same spot. And then this is cool, this is a soft plastic, almost looks like cloth. And it's got slits right here so that you can move his legs. I'm glad, because I want to be able to have dynamic poses there for the legs. Cool. Um, look right here, for this belt, and then it appears to be attached. Can't tell, let me see. Nope, it's not, because we, we can move it. And then let's see his boots. Ah, uh, oh well. It does turn right there on the shin. We do point and flex and pivot pretty well. The boots look really cool. And then um, these knee joints don't appear to be the best look. But nonetheless, we do have good double joints. Good as far as how they articulate, but not good as far as look how plasticky and soft they look. So, all right, let's look at the Cloak of Levitation. I love the Cloak of Levitation. I love how he moves kind of like carpet from Aladdin. So he's like, he's like mm, sad, happy, and then whoosh. So, he's definitely gotten some people out of a jam. And, of course, if you've seen What If, of course, you've seen Zombie Hunter, Spider-Man. So, that's cool. Um, we have to put this peg right here in the hole otherwise it uh, pops out kind of weird but that looks pretty good look at that so how do we want this do we want this like this oh well we don't even have fingers going like that anyway but um I don't even know if we could cross the hands no we not very well so we could do something kind of like that but what do you say we use these instead? Let's try these. Ooh, it's got kind of a soft plastic, so it looks like it's kind of bending. There we go, let's see. Interesting, looks like it's attached right just past the fingertips. And this one's a little, I wish it wasn't so uh, soft, because then it would retain its shape a little better. Look, looks like an apricot slice, a dried apricot. Give me a second. I went ahead and went to go grab that Doctor Strange we were talking about, and he is a little bit different, especially because he's got this time stone going right here. But 
Look at this. There are clear differences in his outfit, in his belt, and even look at this. Let's see, the arms. Yep. This is a different Doctor Strange. Even the faces, look how different those look. So, hmm. let's see uh, the Eye of Agamotto. Huh. I don't know if it's just, uh, I don't know if it's supposed to be that different, but look at this. Compare this one to this one. And tell me which one you like better. Look at that. Interesting, right? And they were made very different. So, back over here look at this cloak of levitation the cloak looks like it might be the exact same with different color plastic so that appears to be the same but otherwise our infinity war doctor strange is different except for the cloak so I mean the legs might be the same I don't know look at that so yeah the legs might be the same but other than that, very different action figures. So, let's go ahead and uh, switch, swap out the hands. Let's get them in a more dynamic pose. So that'll be cool. And then be careful with these apricot pieces. Did I do it again? You know, I don't even know if I've ever done that before. And I've already done it twice. I don't want to mean ever, but I mean like when making these videos and here we are interesting right so what do you think about that we have one bigger than the other so I am digging that and maybe I should have him flying up floating up let's see his legs we do have a joint in the high part of the thigh, but look, his knees are loose and it looks like his legs a little loose. So let's just get him to stand and hold that pose and that'll be plenty for me. Look at that. That looks cool. So let's put these away. And let me set him right over there. Oops. Sorry, I'm knocking everything down. Give me a second. Okay, cool. There we go. Let's set him up right over here. And that looks pretty outstanding. Look at that. Awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to our next action figure. And that next action figure is J. Jonah Jameson. And I'm so excited about this one. Now, interestingly enough, this one does not say Spider-Man No Way Home. Hmm, are they trying to keep a secret from us? Does he not come out after all? Maybe just the scenes from the other movie? I don't know. Interesting how it doesn't say that on here. And if, before you say anything else, like, well, maybe it's uh, this or that or whatever. All the other ones say, no way home. So, anyway, we'll speculate away. Movie comes out in a couple months, and we'll find out by then. But. Until then, this is a really cool action figure. I'm glad we have another head sculpt and other hands to swap out there. So that looks awesome. So absolutely. Look how great this looks. And this is a picture from um, Spider-Man Far From Home anyway. Look at that. So that looks cool. Let's see what it says about J. Jonah Jameson. It says, J. Jonah Jameson, behind the anchor desk on the Daily Bugle website, Jameson does everything he can to sling mud at his greatest adversary, Spider-Man. My website. So his website supposed to be one word, or was it on purpose to make it kind of like a pun? Anyway, let's go ahead and get this bad boy open. All right, cool. 
out. Here we are. And this definitely does look, oh, look how cool that looks. Definitely looks like a J.K. Simmons. Let's get this umbrella arm out. Look how massive this arm is. It's like almost from his shoulders down to his ankles. Massive. Look at, that. Look at those claws. Okay, so let's get him out of here. And you know what? I'm a little bummed because um, I don't think I have here uh, the Spider Man action figures that I had done a while back with a Toy Biz era where he had this pointing finger and he went like this. So, anyway, nonetheless, look how cool this looks. Definitely looks like him. And in case you didn't remember, he's also the voice of the uh, yellow M&M. Oh, look at this. And because his head tilts like that, I would anticipate it. Oh, it's not. Let's see. Wow, look, we got amazing head articulation here for J. Jonah Jameson. Let's see this other head here. Yeah, let's swap these heads out. I think I want him, like, yelling. Look at that. Just twist and pull. Pop this one right back in here. And let's push this down. There we go. Yeah, that's more like it. Look, looks like we might even have some sort of little ab crunch there. Turns at the waist. And, you know, we're pretty used to this little suit setup here. But looks like we have a different um, shirt little setup in there. Let's see, arms. Do not come anywhere near 90 degree angle. Uh oh. Look, it's super weak right here where the uh, bicep meets the, the shoulder. So you got to be careful then apply a lot of pressure in when you move it. So beware of that. I want you to crack his arm off. So let's push this in. We can turn right here. Let's see, we got double joints right here at the elbows. So that's good. Uh, let's see, we want to push this one a little bit more so it looks more natural. There we go. You don't want to have one side more than the other when you bend it because it'll look odd. Watch. See? So it needs to be kind of, and even that looks odd. So it kind of evenly set like that. Look at that. Okay, cool. We can move the fist and the wrist around back and forth. Should be the same thing here. Or does this one move side to side? Yeah, it's gonna move side to side, look at that. And turns, soft finger, look at that. And I'm picking his nose. And I'm getting something from his teeth. So, yep, it looks cool. I'm digging, well, I mean the head sculpt is everything, right? So, let's see, we got good joints right here at the legs and knees, uh, on the knees, and then, um, turns right here in the high part of the thigh and again we're used to these dress shoes right here but look at that you can pivot and you can't really move the shoes back and forth too much because it's restricted right here but we do pivot pretty well and he doesn't need to have dynamic action poses either this J. Jonah Jameson so now I take it back in Spider-Man what was it too he was jumping around in the suit on the desk but yeah, we don't need him to be that dynamic. So I feel like J.K. Simmons is maybe not this exact same body type, but uh, as Tony Stark and who else had this similar suit? Um, I know we had Nick Fury, the young Nick Fury, right? And so on, so anyway, looks cool. And do we wanna Swap the hands out, the open hands. Nah, not this time. Because he's definitely pounding his fist, making a point. There we are. Too bad we don't have like a little desk room to sit at. Now, obviously, the other figure does have a desk, the Toy Biz Era one, but I don't have that here, so. Let's just, uh, let me get this to a more natural looking stance. Give me a second. Okay, here we go. 
So I'm standing right here. There we go. And that looks pretty outstanding actually. It just had to be simple. I didn't want anything too overstated. Look at that. Yep, that's all we need and then we'll get them a desk. Look how great these look already. Awesome, and I'm sad that that's gonna be it for our Spider-Man No Way Home. Uh, but we still have a few action figures left. So let me set this aside. We have three and our Build-A-Figure. So, give me a moment and we will move on. And now over to our Spider-Man Miles Morales. And look how cool that looks. This is a game reverse action figure. And look at that right there. He's got electricity coming from these hands. So that looks outstanding. So he looks really cool. We have three sets of hands. And wait, four sets of hands. Awesome, look at this beautiful artwork right here. Very cool, and look how great that looks. I wouldn't mind recreating that if we can. So, okay, I'm like, wait a minute, I don't see any web around him. Look at that, just kind of behind him. So, he comes with the right leg. Let's see what it says about Miles Morales. It says, when a fierce power struggle threatens to destroy his new home, Miles Morales realizes that with great power, there must also come great responsibility. Miles Morales. Awesome. This is a really cool um, pose and art design back here. So let's get him out. Looks great right there too. And I'm excited about this action figure actually. Wow, cool, look how beautiful that looks. Man, the art design is just amazing. Awesome. Okay, we have our other armadillo leg. What in the world? Hey, I got gypped. I'm missing a, a small piece. Mine came without that. So, you saw it here. Hasbro owes me a, a heel. There we go. I guess that's literally his Achilles heel. Okay, so we'll set that aside. See if I can add the rim shot later if I remember. Okay. And here we go. So I'm loving that we have two heads right here. Same closer. Look at that. Looks awesome. Back in here. Then look at these hands. Fists. Obviously, these are the ones we're going to want to take a look at, but we do have these awesome web shooting hands. So let's zoom in and let's see what sort of head articulation we have. Wow, is that a something that we can turn right here at the base or just looks like it? I was hoping that would turn, but it doesn't. Okay, so we can tilt his head right here. Let's see, yep, because I'm like, there must be like one of those thick ones in there. His head can come back decent, but not amazing back. And then forward pretty well. There we go. All right. And so we do have this butterfly joint, which is awesome. And it doesn't seem to be going too far back or forward, actually. Look at that. Interesting that... I wonder if I just need to loosen it up a little bit. Now, it does move, but just not as much as I had hoped. It kind of pushes it back. Look at this really cool Spider-Man symbol right there. We have some outstanding ab crunching turns at the waist. See the legs do come up to almost 90 degree angle. Legs go out really far, so that's awesome. That turns to the high part of the thigh. 
and let's see these knee joints outstanding knee joints look how much they come in Ugh. there we go had to loosen them up for the first time what about these ankles let's straighten the legs back out Ooh, I don't definitely don't want to break that the lower part of the joint moves easier than the top part Oof. it's fighting me these joints for the ankles right now don't want to be moved I don't like that it's doing that look at that Oof. definitely don't want to crack the foot off so let's see let's see if we can push it like this just to loosen it up a bit look at that there we go there we go there we go okay let's do the same thing here you saw what I did turn to the side and let's push it like that Ugh, this one still feels like it's gonna crack. Let's try this. There we go. Apply pressure in still. There we are. There we are. Okay, great. Last thing I wanna do is crack his ankles off. Okay. So, look at his, uh, I'm really digging this red. I like the texture, look at that. His, his texture on here. This looks cool. Look at that Spider-Man symbol back there. They're getting sculpt. And, yep. Let's get those uh, yellow hands out here. This would be so cool. I've seen other people already using these. And I'm no exception. Look at that. That looks so cool. Well, I take it back. Don't want it to look kind of like the box. We just had one. So do we do that? Well, let's see what one looks like to begin with. And it's not a fist. So we'll keep that in mind. So we can't make it look exactly like that. Spin this out. And his shoulder doesn't lift, so that is important to note. Let's get that head right there. Let's bring this leg up. So, I guess we could definitely swap the hands. But we can at least do that. That would look cool. <laughs> but that would mean that I would need another stand. So, we can't really twist him like this or have him come in here, in here. So. We're gonna have to modify that, but still, looks cool. Look at that. Even if we did him like jumping upside down. Man, I wish we did have one more action figure stand, which I'm sure we do, because I have several. I don't know where it's at right now. So I guess let me change this to, to more of a crouching pose. kind of weird. Give me a second. Let me grab this. Okay, cool. I did something that I feel is really cool like this, but can we get him to stand on his tiptoe? Like if he's in an action. Uh, he's moving. Oh, man. Ooh, and this fell too. It's like it's going to be tricky to get him to balance like that on his tiptoe. We might, but I think he'll keep falling. Don't fall. 
That looks really cool, and if only I could find my stands right now, which they're just because they're packed away. That would look outstanding. I'm digging that. Again, look at everybody. Beautiful action shots. Look at that. Even Jameson. Okay, great. Let's move on. We got two more figures in our build a figure. So let's check those out. Okay, so our second to last Marvel Legend that we have before our build a figure. Oh, I was looking the other way, and of course he fell. Of course he did. We have <laughs> Morlin. And look at this. Looks pretty neat. I probably wouldn't have picked him necessarily for this uh, build a figure set. But um, I do think they did kind of an impressive job right here with his outfit. So let's take a look at this artwork. Look at that. This is, uh, it looks okay. They went a little too heavy with the shadow there, but overall it's kind of cool. And he comes with the right arm. Let's see what it says here about Marvel Legends series Morlin. From the darkness, the vampire Morlin hunts Spider-Man in an effort to slay the superhero and feed on his powers. Yep. So let's get him open and see what he's all about here. There we are. Slide this on out. That looks cool. And here we have Armadillo's other arm. That looks cool. Let's set that aside. And here we have two head sculpts. And his little suit has tails. Look at that. Looks like a vampire butler. All right, let me not shake the ground so much moving the chair because our Jameson is starting to wobble. Okay, so let's take a look here. What is this? Is a brooch or an amulet? Here we are. These are very similar. This one's more of a dimple on the chin. This one's more of a butt chin. Let's see. It's like. Um, look, look okay. Um, let's see the hair, soft plastic, definitely uh, almost the same. And let's take a look at what about this suit? Let's see, even though it's soft plastic, it appears to be glued down to this right here. His head doesn't have terribly wonderful articulation, but it moves like that. We can turn it all the way, but his head's gonna dip down a little bit because the hair is gonna push it down like that. Let's see, his arms move out, not quite to a 90 degree angle. Turn right here, uh, just below the, uh, the shoulder. We do have some pretty decent double joints right here at the elbow. Wow, okay, let's zoom into that. I hadn't even noticed that. Let's see, let me get a closer look. Okay, interesting, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know that much about this uh, character right here. So I was trying to look it up and look at that. We got there on his hands and it's got interesting stuff that it's saying about him online here. But um, yeah, it says right here, Spider-Man's strongest enemy just got a huge power up. And of course, I have to read to find out what's going on there. But let me know in the comments because I would love to learn more about this vampire. But um, cool artwork right here we're finding online. Look at that. They're selling it. Oof, almost 50 bucks. I think we bought it for like uh, 22, I believe, at Walmart. Okay, so that looks kind of cool. Let's see his legs. They don't even come anywhere near a 90 degree angle. See, it turns at the waist. Yes, good. This is some really soft, thin plastic. So it's good for his, looks like this is all one piece. It's probably pulled over his chest. And then, um, yeah. I'm like, is it even glued here? No, it's not. 
So we popped off the head and popped off the arms, probably slide right out. But um, this looks like probably the exact same pant legs as uh, J. Jonah Jameson. Okay, so it's not 100% the same. I was like, that looks pretty familiar. Slightly different. Slightly. So I'm like, hmm, that looked a little familiar. Okay, there we go. And so let's see. Uh, he's got more articulation in his feet and ankles than the J. Jonah Jameson one. And yeah, let's find uh, which head do you want first of all? We'll go ahead and leave this one here. And look at the cuffs on his arms. Kind of digging that. That looks cool. The hands do go back and forth. So let me know what these little things are right here in his hands. Obviously, I was like, are they holes or their mouths or they. Don't know. At first, I was like, look, lipstick kisses. Obviously, they're not. But I thought that was funny to think. But, um,. How do we want to pose him? We can clearly go like that, but that doesn't look very fun. And we definitely want to show that, so give me a second. Okay, and I was getting a pretty simple stance, but effective, but I'm having issues because right here, this restricts the leg from going even a little bit back. And so his ankles like this, he just, I'm not trying to get a dynamic pose, I'm just trying to get a more natural looking stance. But, um, but I can't have them lean too far back either because it just doesn't take it. So we'll just start there. And we'll just go ahead and settle for that. It just doesn't pose super outstanding. So we'll just kind of live with that. It looks all right. Very cool. Okay, let's move on to our last Marvel Legend box and then do our build a figure. Okay, so the last figure that we have before our build a figure is Marvel's Shriek. And I did watch Venom this weekend, which it just came out this past weekend. And it was kind of cool to see Shriek, right, in that movie. However, it didn't look like this. Obviously, this is a comic book version. I'm not really digging that belt either. But um, uh, it would have been cool if they snuck that in here, but they didn't, so just kind of deal with it. Six means we have his chest, his midsection right there. And yeah, Marvel's Shriek. Definitely looks a reminiscent of the comic books. So let's see what we have right here for Marvel's Shriek. Francis Louise Barrison, AKA Shriek, escapes from captivity and forms a twisted family with like-minded villains to terrorize Spider-Man. Yep, so I love how they had her with Carnage. And let's get her on out, let's take a closer look. Oops, set that aside. Let's get her on out of there. Oh wow, look at this. I was wondering how we were gonna do that for the shoulders. There we are. Very cool. Okay, and let's get his torso and midsection. Look how big he's gonna be. All right, and so we do have three sets of hands, which is great. We have this, which we've gotten used to, kind of like when we had Mary Jane from Spider-Man Homecoming. And the fingers are super long, but they still look cool. We have and uh, one set of fists, or it looks like one, Oh yeah, one set of fists and one set of hands to hold something, which she doesn't come with anything to hold. So, yep. Go ahead and take her out. Maybe we'll leave her with those hands, because there's nothing to hold, and we don't want her having fists. So set her aside, Let's put this box away, or at least set it aside. Oh, ooh, I forgot about this. Okay, let's come closer. And so we've definitely seen this 
this body mold before. What do you think about this uh, face? There, we should lost it. Her ability to use the eye. It's got big earrings. This hair is hard and even though you can move the tips of it, it's hard and chunky. So you're not gonna be able to move the head very much. Look at that. You can articulate it down a little bit, but definitely not back or around. It's hard to see her jawline a little bit. And it doesn't really stand out. Okay. And we do tilt and turn and pivot right here. Just above uh, where the rib cage is. Let's see, for the shoulders, we do move out pretty well. The, uh, oops, I definitely don't want to crack the arm off. Beyond a 90 degree angle, look at that. Turns right here, the high part of the bicep. We do have double joints that do move pretty well. Look at that. Very cool. Look at this um, sculpt. There we are. Got this like Charlie Brown lines back here, except black and white. This isn't like attached, so we could probably just glue that down. Because I don't like the way it's just floating about. So here we are. We can move. Wow, the legs move beyond a 90 degree angle, so that's outstanding. I'm definitely digging that. Let's see, what happened here? Okay. Uh, we have absolutely no detail on the legs, so I'm assuming we want them just solid black. Look at that. Too bad our Spider-Man can't bring his legs that high, but still cool. And then, um, losing the high part of the thigh. And we can point and flex the feet and pivot them, so that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, this I'm not really digging that hairstyle. Look at that. Layered and slightly feathered. Um, I much rather would have preferred something like that than this. It's a huge difference. I like the way this one looks better than this one. Too bad our action figure doesn't look more like this artwork right here. Um, instead of these big chunky bangs and whatever's going on here. Either way. Looks okay, let you be the judge. She's got a lot of wrinkles in her shoes right here. So, let's have her stand. We get her to a slightly better pose. And what do we want her to be doing? Because she's just laughing away. Or smiling away, I should say. Maybe we just have her have her hands on her hips. Looking tough. And kind of just laughing at the world. Maybe. Give me a second. Okay. That's what we'll do. Just a, si a simple pose. Um, not my favorite figure. However, um, it does round out our set. And there we go. Look at that. Decent pose. There we are. And then once we start getting over here, look how incredible these look. So... Let's do Marvel's Armadillo. And that'll wrap up our video. So let's go ahead and get him out here and get all set up. Okay, so we'll put this here. This here. This here, this here. This, this, and the head. How's that? Not bad. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to focus over here. There we go. Okay, so let's start building our action figure here. Let's get the head on. There we go. Let's get our legs in because we had difficulty getting our legs in on our Mr. Hyde. Let's do the legs first. There we go. This in here. Okay. Good. He's already super tall.
Let's get our arm just popped right in there. Great. Same here. And then let's get this right on in here. Okay. So, what do you think about this? Go ahead and zoom on in. I think this looks. Can't really move the head a whole lot. You can move it up and down and around, obviously. But that's our articulation right here. You can tilt it a little bit. See the arms? This doesn't really restrict it because it's pretty soft plastic. So we can move it, but uh, I don't know about how that looks if we push too far back. Let's see the arms. Let's take this off and just see what sort of articulation we do have. So the arms move pretty smooth, 90 degree angle out. Turn and click. See it moves right here above the bicep. We have a single joint for the elbows, but it moves in pretty well. Let's see the hand. It goes back and forth, but not too, well, this one goes really far back and forth. I don't know why this one doesn't go as much far back. Let's see, maybe it gets, something's restricting it somewhere. There we go. Awesome. He's got three fingers and a thumb. Let's see, it moves right here. Uh, below the rib cage, this is where he crunches and moves. He's got this little piece right here on the back. Let's see, we have double joints, we have single joint for the knee. And then watch out, you'll pinch yourself. I've pinched myself a couple times already. This is the sort of uh, mobility we have on the ankle, which is pretty good. It pivots and, and bends pretty well. Watch your fingers again. There we go. The legs move pretty far out and pretty far forward, actually, if you ask me. And yeah. I'm digging his sculpt. I don't know how I feel about this yet, but it definitely at least doesn't restrict his mobility. But that definitely looks like a coat. So we don't move his arms that much. Let's bring his, I guess his ankle doesn't move very far forward because it hits right there, look at that. I was trying to move his leg forward and yeah, no, his ankles don't move that well. So, let's turn him a little bit. There we go. Too bad that his ankles restrict him that much. I was hoping they didn't. And I'm like, Armadillo. No tail. And of course, we're missing this one piece for his ankle, which was kind of odd, kind of a random thing. Usually don't have anything happen like that with Marvel Legends, but there we go, it happened. Okay, cool. Let him stand like that. And there's everybody in this set. And these two, just smirking over here? Come on. This one didn't even come with a second head sculpt. This one, I think I like this one better, but even though it's creepy. But why are these two smirking off? Probably because they don't match the rest of our set. But um, Armadillo looks all right. Kind of cool. Wish he had a little bit better articulation in the feet and legs. These two, eh. But this first five outstanding so let me go ahead and, and move them around and then we'll wrap up here all right so here we go i'm definitely digging this we have our armadillo which looks pretty fierce right here and then j john jameson is just kind of shouting at this spider-man that's jumping out here and we have this other spider-man joining making sure that miles morales is ready to attack and we have dr strange backing them all up right here so that looks pretty outstanding i'm definitely digging this the way this looks, look at that. It's really outstanding. And then we have our also rans over here, just kind of chilling. So my focus is over here. 
And I want to thank you for hanging out with us here today, guys. If you've not already subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you're notified every time I have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know what you think of these action figures. And yeah, give us a big thumbs up if you like this video. Check out more great videos like this on our YouTube channel. And yeah, we'll be seeing you soon. Thank you guys for hanging out with us here today. Thank you for getting us to 200,000 subscribers. And we'll be seeing you soon on Vince and Gigi's Super Channel G. Peace.